Hello to my pity pals. I've had requests from several of you um, asking me to do a virtual tour of my party walls and show you some of my puddles art. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, some of you already know that I have a website where I sell prints and t-shirts with my art on them. And just so you guys know, I have asked Puddles to his face if he's cool with me doing t-shirts and stuff with my art of him on them. And he's he gave me a thumbs up, so he's on board with that. All of these projects have his thumbs up. Um, but I don't really like to self-promote it because to me it kind of sounds pretentious or self-promoting when I push that website, especially when he has his own website where he sells official merch. Um, so you're always going to hear from me to check his his website, PuddlesPityParty.com, for his merch. Um, my stuff is secondary. If you really want it, you can always find the link in the description. Um, but I'm always going to push the official merch because I think it's important to support the pity party officially but art is a very personal thing and I like to share that with my friends and uh, a lot of you guys are my good friends already so I kind of want to let you in on some of the uh, projects and things that I've been working on and I know that Puddles has a lot of artists in his fan base and when I say artist, I'm not just talking about painting or drawing. Um, art can come in many, many different forms. Um, some people make dolls. If you've seen some Puddles videos, he's got like that sock monkey doll. Um, one of his fans made that for him. I've seen fans that have knitted like giant crowns <laughs> out of yarn. Um, some fans do sculptures, all kinds of stuff. Um, if you ever have any fan art of Puddles, you should always tag him on it. He absolutely loves fan art. Uh, I've seen some people on Twitter, you guys are a little tentative about sharing your art um, with Puddles on his page. You shouldn't be. Uh, he absolutely loves fan art. Even if he doesn't get around to clicking, you know, the like button, he always likes them. Um, and he puts them in his show sometimes. If you, some of you newer people that have never been to a pity party, um, he always has a screen rolling behind him during his songs. And uh, it's usually, I think, Chandelier is the one that he has the uh, art reel rolling in the background. So. You never know, you might see one of your arts on the screen behind him if you uh, pin him on Twitter or Facebook. So I'm gonna walk around my house and show you all my arts. Uh, just be forewarned, I'm gonna be walking around with my cell phone so it's gonna be a little uh, seasicky. <laughs> um, I'll try and keep it as steady as possible, but bear with me. So the first thing I'm going to go over is my bulletin board, um, which has some of my favorite pictures of puddles. Most of these I got off of uh, like his Instagram. Some of them are uh, out of newspaper articles. A few of those are like his postcards. That white one there is one of his postcards. Um, this here is a calendar that I made up. It's just a cheapy one. I added some uh, of Emily's pictures. And if you don't know who Emily Butler is, um, anytime you see an official, like a professional picture of Puddles, um, all the ones on his website are Emily's. Uh, pretty much any one that you see in like a newspaper. That one where he's sitting at the little piano, uh, that's Emily. She does most of his official pictures, and she's a very talented uh, photographer. She uh, photographs concerts, live concerts, um, and 
and she's just fantastic. It's not just photography, it's actually art. Uh, she turns photographs into very good art pieces, so um, if you're into art or photography, go follow Emily on Facebook. It's uh, Emily Butler Photography is her Facebook page. And then I've got some of these. I've got some arts here from other Pity Pals. These are Shrinky Dinks. <laughs> um, this has got like a little suitcase, cry mug, little onion, cry it out. That's like a, it's supposed to be a Christmas ornament. Uh, one of my pity pals in Oregon sent me those. Um, I don't want to say her name because I'm not sure if she would want me to, but she's one of P's diehard fans in Oregon, which she actually has a lot of diehard fans in the uh, Pacific Northwest, Oregon, and Washington. And actually, I saw last week on Facebook that there were a couple pity pals in Washington that. Uh, they had a dog park <laughs> named after Puddles. I guess they won some of kind of a contest or petition the city or something to have a dog park named after Puddles. So there is a Puddles Pity Party dog park in Washington. I've got here a couple of uh, Puddles stickers. This uh, sad onion, this is a sad onion, if you see his little onion string is like hanging down there. And this guy flew all the way across the pond. He's from a pity pal in Scotland. Um, and she actually had, I'm sorry Isla, I don't remember the name of your Facebook page at the moment, but uh, she actually had a Facebook page where you could uh, order some stuff made out of felt. So I'll find that and I'll put that down in the uh, description. Um, Here's some Puddles Pity Party trivia here, if you know where that can be found. Uh, these three, I've actually entered some of my art into the Arizona State Fair. This is the first time I ever entered anything into the State Fair, and I got the blue ribbon. And these, I think these are both uh, honorable mentions, or third place, I don't really remember. Uh, it's another puddle sticker there. If you don't know, this is actually Puddle's self-portrait. If you guys aren't aware of that, that uh, video, King of the Road, that he does, all those little uh, doodles, he does all those. That's his character right there. So moving on to my Puddle's art, I'm going to try and keep them in order of how I uh, drew them. This is the first one I ever drew. And this is colored pencil. These are Prismacolor pencils, or what I used for this one. And this is the second one that I finished. Uh, this is Puddles, and that's his dog. That's Sweet Georgie. Uh, Sweet Georgie is really fun to draw with all those spots. Um, this is graphite pencil, which it kind of blends out nice, but you can't really see it here. It has a a glare on it if the uh, light hits it wrong. So I kind of try and stick to a charcoal pencil, but this is before I added some new mediums to my uh, seal set. <laughs> so this is basically just like number two pencil uh, drawing. And this one here is the only one of mine that Puddles really doesn't care for um, because he thinks it makes him look scary. But this is titled Earworm. Uh, this is me, actually, me and Puddles, and uh, I think there's probably a few of you here right now where uh, Puddles is keeping you up at night just because his songs keep going through your head over and over and over. Um, so this expression here, this isn't I'm scared of Puddles as much as oh my god am I ever going to get to sleep again. Um, so this is a personal one. For me, that was just the way I was feeling at the moment when I uh, drew that one. This one's also a charcoal and graphite pencil. And that one there is a uh, charcoal pencil. You can kind of see how it's darker than the graphite pencil. Um, 
Charcoal is a lot darker medium, but it smears really bad. So if you're going to do charcoal pencil, you really have to watch out for the smearing. Um, but you can see this one in puddle shows sometimes, it just depends on his art reel. And this one here is actually the first watercolor painting I ever did. Um, that white there, that's actually a reflection off of the ceiling light. Um, People ask me if I came up with this idea, but Puddles actually did that. <laughs> uh, he was at a festival in Ghent, Belgium, a few years ago, and uh, he actually climbed out on a log over the water and sang to the boats as they went by, because Puddles is magical that way. And this is the first thing he ever signed for me. He signed the map for me. And this one here is a mixed media. Uh, it's got ink, black ink in the background. Um, the glove and the clothes, the face, those are graphite pencil and then the color is colored pencil. I drew this one at the first show I went to. Puddles walked off the stage and touched my face while I was singing and that was the uh, image I got of him. And this one here is a watercolor. Um, it's kind of a spoof on the Uncle Sam, I want you, old timey poster. Um, but I want you to want me, I did that after he did that song. I thought, oh, that would be, <laughs> that'd be fun. This one in the corner here is also a watercolor. Um, but I did a little bit different on that one. I went over with the watercolor the colors first, like the blue and the purple, and then I went over it with white ink. And that's where you see that those white highlights, those are white ink. Um, which didn't really look all that great when I very first uh, painted it, but when it dried, it looked really good. This is one of my favorite ones now. You're going to be able to see me in the reflection on this one because it's a big one. Uh, this is my first oil painting ever that I did. Um, this is still one of my very favorite ones, just because of the eyes, of course. Puddles has the best eyes. And this is the one that got the blue ribbon in the State Fair. And this one's pretty much always in the show. So if you're paying attention to the background during a show, you'll probably see this one. This one is graphite and charcoal pencil. And I actually made a time-lapse video of me doing that one. So I'll actually put that down in the uh, description. You can go watch that, watch me draw the whole thing if you want. And this one here is another oil painting. Um, Puddle signed it for me. I like pie, newsflash. Anybody who didn't know, Puddles likes pie. And you're really going to see the reflection in this one because it's so dark. Um, this one is an ink wash. So that is just India ink with varying degrees of water. And this is one that I kind of took a step back and tried to look at puddles in a different light, literally. Um, whereas with some of these other ones, I was really focused on his eyes or you know, it's kind of just a sagged in expression. This one, you can't see his eyes at all, at all. They're completely blacked out. So it's more focused on his expression where he's got that kind of lip curl thing going on and also the, the hand gesture as well. So that one came out really well. Uh, that's a popular one for t-shirts. And this one here is another watercolor. And this one, out of all of them, is probably one of the ones I'm most proud of. Um, this is an oil painting, but it was a complete shot in the dark, the technique I used for this. Uh, because this piece doesn't have a single brush stroke on it, I painted the entire thing just with the palette knife. Um, and it was kind of just a stroke of luck that it came out as well as it did. And if you look, I'll try and 
get a little closer here. If you look really close, it's basically like frosting. I mean, it's really, really thick paint. You can just see how it's kind of just slathered on there. Uh, but this really captured that uh, high note moment when he's really killing it. And this isn't an art project, but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. Um, this is what an artist looks like when they're dealing with their muse. <laughs> Completely dumbfounded. Uh, that's when he signed that uh, I like pie picture. But I love this photo because I just look completely, oh my god, it's puddles. <laughs> and he's just kind of looking like, yeah, she's a weirdo. But puddles loves weirdos, for the record. And you're going to get a pretty bad reflection on this one because it's so dark. Um, of all of the ones I've done, this one took the shortest. <laughs> this project only took me one day. Um, and it was a very easy technique. I'll actually tell you exactly how I did it. This is just watercolor paper. And I just did dark layers around the outside. Just different colors. Black, purple, pink, green. And I just left the middle kind of light and just did dark around the edges. And then I took a toothbrush, dipped it in some of that white ink and just flicked it. And that's what made all those stars. And then I just took acrylic black paint and just went over with the uh, silhouette. And it came out really nice, but yeah, some projects I work a really long time on, but this one here only took one day. And this is my new oil. I just finished it yesterday. It's actually still on the tack board. Uh, you probably saw it on Twitter, if you follow Puddles on Twitter. Um, this one here probably took me the longest out of all of them because of this technique. Uh, this is called stippling or pointillism. And if you let me see how close I can get here. These are just little dots. So that's just taking a pin and just tapping it over and over and over and over again millions and millions of times until you get a finished product. So that one literally took me like eight months to finish. I've got uh, some of these are I'm a little behind in matting so some of these are still loose. And then I've got this one here. This is another uh, watercolor. Um, except for that first watercolor where he's over the water. This is the only one that I've ever done a head to toe on puddles. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to do a few more of those just so we can kind of see his height and some of the other gestures and postures that he does. And then this one here was a just for fun. Uh, it's not on my website because uh, it's trademark. <laughs> I don't really want to mess with that. But this is Energizer Bunny Puddles. He runs on coffee. And he keeps going and going and going and going. Because he's a workaholic. <laughs> and for any of you that work with watercolors, I highly recommend these watercolor blocks. They just come in a block, you just peel the pages off one by one. Um, because I've gotten these soaking wet and they've never warped. So, Arches is the, the brand for that. It's kind of uh, restrictive as far as size goes, but if you want your paper not to warp, that's the best product there is for watercolor. And there is one original that is uh, not in my house. Um, that's because Puddles has it hanging on his party wall. Uh, I gave it to him and that's the coffee print. I actually painted it with coffee. Just the regular Folgers Instant coffee is what I used to paint that. Um, just coffee and water, just different washes. So that one's his and you can see it once in a while in, in his videos where he's sitting on the couch. It's in the top right hand corner if you want to try and pick that out. So yeah, 
that's my art. So I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Um, like I said before, don't be afraid to share your art with Puddles, because he loves it. He is an uh, encouragement when it comes to art. Um, he is an artist, and he supports art wholeheartedly, so don't be afraid of that. It is a little overwhelming or scary to kind of put yourself out there sometimes, but it's worth it. And if you like it, do it. It doesn't matter if anybody else gets it. As long as you enjoy it, then it's fine. Just keep doing what you love. And I'll talk to you guys later.